Tradition is a fine thing. The Evzones, or Presidential Guard, on patrol outside Parliament, a sign that some things never change. Nor do Greece's quarrelling politicians. The government's failed bid to have its candidate endorsed as president on Monday has forced Greece into fresh elections. And I very strongly believe that the uh, pro-European forces and those forces who have been for the necessary structural changes in this country will prevail. And I'm uh, very optimistic on this. The Prime Minister's optimism isn't reflected in the opinion polls where the far left opposition coalition Syriza is in the lead. It plans to overturn the country's austerity programme and international debt commitments. The effect on the financial markets could be ruinous for Greece. Sousa has agitated for snap elections and it's got them now and it will be put to the test. It's a theory that the Eurozone will accept some kind of different deal will be put to the test in this uh, election campaign. It's plans for the economy. Questions will be raised about if it comes to government in uh, late January, how will it fund Greece if it's not receiving loans from the Eurozone? These are vital questions it will have to answer in the next few weeks. The government's defeat in this vote triggers a national election that few besides some of the politicians actually want. 58% of Greeks in the latest poll say they aren't interested in new elections. Now some of those that I've spoken to say they simply don't trust that the politicians any longer care what the Greek people want or need. Six years of recession, rising poverty levels, 25% unemployment. Greeks aren't short of problems. We should not be going to early elections. I believe that once again the Greek people will be led to make the wrong decisions. I think it is necessary to have elections because the situation here is tragic. People are desperate. Something needs to change. And though tradition remains, it is of comfort to few. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Athens.